हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल एंड चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू दिट चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस स्पेसिफिक रोटेशन लेट्स विगेन स्पेसिफिक रोटेशन द ऑप्टिकल एक्टिविटी ऑफ ए सब्सटेंस इज मेजर्ड बाय इट्स स्पेसिफिक रोटेशन what is uh, optical active substances when a plane polarized light is passes through that of optically active substances then that uh, plane polarized light rotated to an angle to that of uh, plane of incidence of that plane polarized light and that angle at which that the plane polarized light rotated is called angle of rotation and that the substances those are responsible to rotate that plane polarized light are called optically active substances so specific rotation is a technical term by which we measure what be the optically activity of a particular optically active substance it a plane polarized light plane polarized light that is pass through here we taken optically active substances that is optically active substances in the example of uh, such optically active substances as your sugar solution then the emergent light we see that the plane polarized light rotate to an angle that angle of rotation is known as theta theta is the angle of rotation how we mathematically show the specific rotation according to byers law of rotatory polarization we know that from byers law of rotatory polarization that the angle of rotation the angle of rotation is directly proportional to the length of that optically active substance the length of that optically active substance at which light travels so the distance at which light travels to that of optically active substance is 
the length. So the angle of rotation is directly proportional to that length. And again, in case of solution, it also depends upon that concentration of such solutions. And also to the concentration. of solution. So, the length denoted by L concentration denoted by C. Angle of rotation is denoted by theta that is the angle of rotation is directly proportional to L, directly proportional to the concentration of that of solution. Now, combining equation 1 and 2, combining equation 1 and 2, we get that angle of rotation is directly proportional to L into C. So, we can use a proportionally constant therefore, theta is, is equal to a proportionally constant that is S into L C, whereas S is the proportionality constant which is also called specific rotation specific rotation therefore that specific rotation s is equal to theta divided by l into c and uh, in that of situation, it is seen that temperature and wavelength, temperature T, wavelength lambda are constant throughout that process. equation number 3 if if that uh, length l is equal to 1 decimeter 1 decimeter to calculate that specific rotation we don't prefer the SI units that is an important point here and uh, concentration C 1 gram per cubic centimeter then S is equal to theta. So, we can easily define what is specific rotation. The specific rotation, the specific rotation of a solution at a given temperature and for a given wavelength as you derive that uh, formula at constant temperature and constant wavelength given wavelength a 
of light is defined as the rotation and that rotation theta is measured in degrees. produced by as we choose 1 decimeter length of the solution 1 decimeter length of the solution when the concentration of uh, that uh, solution is when the concentration is 1 gram per cubic centimeter. The specific rotation of a solution at a given temperature and for a given wavelength of light is defined as the rotation produced by 1 decimeter length of solution when concentration is 1 gram per second. That is the definition of specific rotation. So, we define that a specific rotation at constant wavelength and constant temperature is equal to theta divided by L c. By using that specific rotation, we can measure what be the optical activity of a particular substance. So, here uh, with the help of this video lecture, we understand the idea of uh, specific rotation. We see when plane polarized light passes through an optically active substances, then that uh, plane polarized light is rotated to an angle which is known as angle of rotation and uh, those substances which produces uh, such type of phenomenon are called optically active substances and by using uh, Byers law of rotatory polarization we see that angle of rotation is directly proportional to that of length and also uh, to that of concentration of a solution by combining these two equations and use that proportionally constant which is nothing but specific rotation. So, the expression for specific rotation is equal to theta divided by L c. Here, uh, if you choose L is equal to 1 decimeter with the length c is uh, the concentration that is 1 gram per cubic centimeter. As we know, concentration is nothing but uh, uh, the density. So, the unit gram per cubic centimeter, then S is equal to theta. Now, we can easily define the specific rotation of a solution at a given temperature and for a given wavelength of light is defined as rotation that rotation is measured in degrees produced by 1 decimeter length of solution uh, when uh, the concentration of such solution is 1 gram per cubic centimeter. So, it is represented as S as temperature and wavelength constant is equal to theta by L c. So, with this useful and informative notes let me wind up the session. Thank you.